Christmas that's about to move the chief executive king of South Africa. He'll just make a few remarks about I think what's been a wonderful and historic day for the Zambia Super League, and then we'll take questions in the normal way. So don't really just like to say Thanks, Michael. Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank all the members of the media that are here. Uh, and members of the media that have missed this day, unfortunately, who couldn't uh, either drive or fly through to Cape Town to come support and uh, watch the final today. I think, um, you know, through your support, we've managed as Cricket South Africa to continue uh, talking to the broader community in terms of what we're trying to do as far as uh, spreading the game wide and reaching as many South Africans as we can. Um, I'm just happy as an individual. I think that we've reached so many milestones in our first year of um, this um, Zanzi uh, Super League. Um, you know, uh, congratulations to the Josie Stars. They did very well. And um, all the best to them in future. Uh, we can only grow from here. So thank you to everybody that has supported us. Thank you to people that have come through. And uh, we couldn't be proud as Cricket South Africa. Thank you. Take questions. Brian, you want to? Devon, uh, the fact that when you see 11,000 people come through the, you know, through the first house, is that also just another vindication that people have accepted the tournament and they've taken it on? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the tournament has continued to grow from one game to the next, um, which has been a super positive for us as Cricket South Africa. Uh, the TV numbers have been great. Um, you know, we just need to work very hard as uh, Cricket South Africa in its entirety in terms of attracting more people into the stadiums. But uh, the product itself has shown that it's something that uh, South Africa has been waiting for. We are a couple of years late, uh, but now we have something that we can critique, unlike not having anything at all. Um, I think that uh, we've done well um, to basically put this product together in four months. Uh, with a very small budget that we had as management of Cricket South Africa. So for me, honestly speaking, I think we've ticked as many boxes as we possibly could tick. As I said, given the time frames, given the fact that we had our backs against the wall, literally, as management of Cricket South Africa. And I'm very grateful to my team. I think they've literally pulled a rabbit here. Yeah. Devon, just, uh, we heard an interview during the break that uh, you're thinking of expanding the tournament. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Why not? We didn't hear the full interview. What, how many, what, what, are, what are the plans for, for the expansion? The plan is to expand the team by uh, the, the teams rather by two more teams. Um, so we just need to set, do our re redo our calculations, uh, have a look at the budgets, uh, all the forecasts, uh, have a look at all the deals that we've uh, signed and what is still there to be signed, and uh, look at if we include the two teams let's say in year three or year four, what does it really mean for us as Cricket South Africa? Um, you know, from a monetary point of view, what does it mean for the players? How many players are gonna get involved? Which sort of players are gonna get involved? And then to look at the cities that will also be competing for those two teams and so forth. So yes, we do want to expand to two teams, uh, but I don't have the exact um, date as to whether we're gonna do it in year three, year four, year five but we definitely have plans of expand, expanding by two more teams. If you uh, want to do like a clinical analysis of play devil's advocate, what would your mark be out of 10 for this tournament? Honestly speaking, I think I would give us six. And the reason why I would give us six out of 10, as I said, is because the one most important thing that I think we need to remember as South Africans is that we had four months to put this thing together. Teams had about a little over a month to assemble themselves, to have their kit ready, to have all the names ready, photos ready, uh, all the stats of the players and an end. And from day one, you could see those little niggles coming through in terms of us not being as ready as we would have liked. So essentially, how I look at the Mzante Super League, it's, it's a plane that took off without wings. It managed to fly, and now we've landed safely. So that's why I would give us a six. So there is some work to be done. Um, but as I said, given the rough start that we had, for us to have averaged about 1.6 million viewers on TV per match, we, nobody can rival that. For us to have literally gone to match 32 now without as many problems as we anticipated to have, with a 40 million rand budget, 
I'd like to see anybody else who can do that. That's why I'm saying I'm very proud of my team, and I'll give my team six out of 10. Um, most of the things that we didn't achieve, unfortunately, were not necessarily in their control because it really takes time to negotiate commercial deals. And as I said, given the fact that we had four months, we were literally trying to break down every wall, every door in our path to make sure that we deliver this thing. And unfortunately, um, Corporate South Africa didn't really have the confidence in Cricket South Africa delivering this thing on time, given the short space of time we had. And that's why we never attracted the sponsors we wanted to. But we now have a year to plan and start over again with the base. So I'm looking forward to next year and its challenges. It's definitely a reality. I'm not sure how soon we can make that reality happen for us as South Africa, but yes, it is a reality. We continue to work very hard um, with, with our Indian counterparts. And not, not only them, we work very hard with the Australian guys, we work very hard with the English. Um, you know, um, I have a very good relationship with the CEO of Afghanistan, um, CEO of Pakistan. So I'm working very hard with my counterparts to try and build what I would like to see as a better picture for us and for this tournament, because really I think the bigger this tournament gets, the more it's going to benefit all South Africans. It's not just about what Tawang wants, it's not about what Cricket South Africa can you know, possibly get out of it. It's for everyone in this country. And I think for the first time, South Africans have access to it, which is something that nobody can take away from South Africa. Um, so long now that the exam is done, can we look ahead to the process and the World Cup? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for us, there's no rest. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the Pakistan team is here already, uh, preparing very well uh, in Willowmore Park. Um, so it's off to Super Sport Park now uh, in the Highfield for the first Boxing Day Test match in the Highfield. So I'm hoping that Jacques and his team are ready. Um, you saw how Dale Stein was bowling today. So one can't really wait to see him in a, you know, bowling with a red ball that moves a bit more uh, in terms of what he can do. Uh, his pace is uh, right back up there. Um, I'm wishing Vernon Philander speedy recovery. I want to see him bowling at uh, Supersport Park. So I'm not putting any pressure to the medical team, but they better make sure Vernon is ready. Uh, KG, he's upbeat. He's always ready, never wants to rest. Um, you know, um, we've missed performances of uh, Keshav, uh, but for the first time we saw him do decently well as far as the white ball format is, com is concerned, rather. So it would be nice to have the entire test team back again. Quinton is back in form, something that we've sorely missed as South Africans. We know what Quinton can do, can single-handedly win matches for us. So to have him back in form is speaking wonders for us as Cricket South Africa in terms of what we can achieve. So I'm looking forward to the Red Bull series versus Pakistan, and I'm sure our boys are hungry for the win as well. Anything else? Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you.